Brittany. So today I'm going to be making something really special for New Year's Eve. I'm making fried raviolis. They're going to be three cheese raviolis and you can serve them with a side of marinara sauce. This is a really easy, great recipe and it's extra special for the New Year. Stay tuned. Okay, so the ingredients that we're going to be using today are um, these are dumpling wrappers. You usually make Chinese dumplings with them. I'm using them to make ravioli. If you can't find something like this, you can buy wonton wrappers I know are sold at most grocery stores. Okay, uh, fresh mozzarella cheese. <clears throat> um, you don't really want the shredded packaged kind. It's going to taste different. Um, it also has a lot more salt content in it, but you know, it's up to you. It depends on your budget. Um, some mascarpone cheese. If you don't have mascarpone cheese or you can't find it, you can substitute cream cheese. But this tastes really, really amazing. <clears throat> so definitely try to find it. I'm using a bunch of different herbs. <clears throat> I'm going to use some basil, some oregano, and some fresh sage. If you don't have any of these, use what you do have. Um, you can also use dried herbs. One egg. Salt, pepper, crushed red chili flakes, pecorino cheese or parmesan cheese. Just please use fresh cheese. Um, don't use the fake stuff. It really tastes different. And some frying oil. I am using today I have sunflower oil. You can use vegetable oil. You just want to make sure that it has a high, um, a he a high heating point. Okay? And that's about it. So let's get started. Okay, I got all my ingredients ready to go, all chopped up, so let's get started. So, I'm doing about one cup per cheese. And as you remember, the cheese I'm using is mascarpone, mozzarella, and pecorino romano, okay? You can really use whatever cheese you want, but I decided to use one cheese for a binder, mascarpone, one cheese that melts and stretches, because I love that, mozzarella, and one cheese for the flavor. and you want the salt and the sharpness of it, so it's really a perfect balance. Okay. So I kind of measured about a cup each. I don't really think you need to measure for this kind of thing, but I will post the recipe with measurements. And I'm not sure how many raviolis this yields yet. I'm going to find out when I make them, because I am going to make a whole bunch for New Year's Eve party. And I think that this is a great appetizer because it looks fancy. And, you know, it takes a little bit of time to do it, but it's well worth it. It's going to come out beautiful and delicious. Okay, I'm adding the fresh herbs, <clears throat> and that was sweet Italian basil, uh, fresh oregano, and fresh sage. You can add whatever you want. If you have rosemary, add that, you know, whatever, whatever you have. Okay. So I'm going to add some crushed chili flakes because I really like that. I'll put it in my hand to show you how much I'll add. I'm going to add about that much. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You don't want to overdo it with the salt because there's already a lot of salt in the pecorino cheese. Some black pepper. And the last thing, the secret ingredient, is freshly grated nutmeg. Um, you add this sometimes to bechamel sauces, if you add it to Alfredo, um, any kind of like really mild white sauces in Italian, nutmeg is great. It just gives it a little something extra special. before I put the egg in because I want to taste it make sure that I, you know, like the flavor that it doesn't need more salt or pepper because once I add the egg, I can't really, you know, taste it. Okay, so I gave it a taste. It tastes absolutely amazing. I think this is going to be a really good recipe. And I just added like one tablespoon more of pecorino cheese just because I wanted a little bit more sharpness to it, but you don't have to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to add the egg. And the egg is just going to act as an extra binder. We already have the mascarpone cheese. 
and the egg will just also help to really bind the filling so when it is put in the ravioli and fried, it will stay together. You know, nothing will fall out while it's frying. <clears throat> so let me get this mixed up and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so my next step is going to be making the ravioli. So here I have just a little uh, bowl of water. So here goes. And I have a really small spoon and I'm just going to use this kind of as like a measuring spoon. So you really want just a tiny bit of filling, not a lot, just a little bit. And this takes a little bit of time, but really it's so worth it because I think when you buy the boxed ravioli, even if it's fresh, it is really, really good, but this is something extra special and it's New Year's Eve. And mascarpone, you know, it's a little bit more special than the ricotta cheese that's <clears throat> usually inside of ravioli. <coughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Okay, so all I did was put it in there, I put water around the edges, folded it in half, and I want to just pinch the edges. Not too hard, just, you know, carefully. And then something that I do, and I would recommend doing this, and it looks nice, is you just take a fork and you press the edges down, nice and hard. That way, when it goes in the fryer, you don't run the risk of anything coming out and it's all nicely sealed. So there you go. I'm going to get these all finished and I will be back. All right, so I finished doing them. I made 37, okay? So obviously you can half this recipe, just do a half a cup of the cheeses each. All right, so I'm gonna start to get frying here. I'm gonna turn on my, uh, my flame and I'm gonna get the oil up to about 325 Fahrenheit, so I'll be back. So my oil is at about 325, between 325 and 50. That's pretty good. Um, you don't have to do this. You know, I like to do it just to make sure that it's hot enough. But you can also just do the old-fashioned check where you throw a breadcrumb in, and if it sizzles and fries, it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, so here it goes. That's the sound we're looking for. I'm only going to do about <clears throat> five at a time because I don't have a lot of oil. And you don't want to crowd it. I'm using a wok, I'm sure you've noticed. Um, woks are really great for deep frying things because of their shape. This is a really great wok too. This was left to us when we moved into our first apartment in Taiwan. And I hope to take it home with me back to New York. Okay, so I'm going to let this go and I just want to show you what it looks like when I flip it over. Okay. So give this about maybe one minute on this side at the most and then flip it over. Just keep checking. You want it to be golden brown. When I'm finished taking this off, I'm just going to take a little bit of pecorino cheese and this microplane, and I'm just going to put it right on top of the, uh, the ravioli because the hot oil will make it really great and it will stick to the ravioli and it will taste amazing. So that's looking great. This is going to come out really soon. I'm about to freeze these, but I just wanted to show you how I'm going to freeze these. Um, I spread them out a little bit on a tray and then I'm going to put them in a freezer just for about one hour. That way they'll get really nice and hard and then you can put them in a bag and you can put them, you know, one on top of the other and, you know, you don't have to worry about it bending or, you know, ruining anything, ruining the shape. So this is a really great tip for freezing fresh pasta. Okay, I just wanted to show you this really quick. I just bit into this one, and it is amazing. It's nice and stringy from the mozzarella, and it just has a lot of flavor. It is really good. You don't even need the marinara dipping sauce, but it would add to it and make it really great for a party. So this is the finished fried raviolis, three cheese fried raviolis. Um, I would highly recommend to serve this with a marinara dipping sauce. Um, if you want a recipe, you can look on my page. I'll post a link to my marinara sauce at the bottom in the description box. 
I tried one of these. They're absolutely amazing, delicious. You really have to try it. It's really easy. You can freeze the rest and you can have it, you know, for dinner. They're just really great. You don't have to fry them. You can boil them as well. So give it a try. Let me know how it goes. And I hope you have a happy new year. Bye. <laughs>